Do you believe that a 0.007-pound domino could crush a 3,000-pound car? To make this wild idea a reality, they're about to conduct a massive domino experiment. First, they needed to understand how much force is required to topple a car. So, they created a scale growth test to simulate the chain reaction. Data shows that a domino can knock over another domino that's up to 1.5 times its own size. Starting with a 0.007 pound, 2 inch tall domino, by the 12th domino in the sequence, the size would grow to a staggering 7,000 pounds and 14 feet tall. They began building dominoes of all sizes. While this is based on mathematical theory, data often tells the real story. Next, they had to find the perfect spacing between dominoes. Too far apart, and they won't touch. Too close, and there won't be enough momentum. This required a lot of trial and error. After a full day of testing, they finally nailed the ideal distance. They first ran a seven-domino trial, and it worked flawlessly. Since the twelfth domino weighed 7,000 pounds and stood 14 feet tall, they had to weld its frame from stainless steel and fill it with water-filled barrels to achieve the proper weight. The larger dominoes beyond that were built the same way. With everything ready, the full experiment began. All the dominoes fell perfectly, until the very last one. Because the experiment couldn't be reset, Adam had to step in with a tool to help pry the final domino forward. And finally, yes, it crushed the car. Sure, it was a bit of a cheat, but in principle it still worked. 